duties as the veterans' health care system of the Ozark chapter take slowly, not a job. She has felt this way ever since as a teenager. Her parents, both World War II veterans, were on military assignment in Germany. They took her off on a base revival. Now, Chaplain Mond was the first female chaplain of the 82nd Airborne Division. She continued to serve our service members even after her military retirement. She was recently recognized by President Obama and Michelle Obama for her leadership. Chaplain. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have always honored warriors, for we know you as our strength, protector, defender, sword and shield, sustainer in the midst of hardship and danger, the one that trains our hands for war and our fingers to do that. We stand in a long line of blessed warriors, King David and his mighty men of value, Deborah and Barak, a centurion with unmatched faith, Cornelius chosen by you as the first Gentile to be graced with the new covenant, and many more. As veterans across generations, we once again acknowledge our special relationship with our God and ask that your providential hand remain on us to heal, guide, and renew. For although wars are behind us, they have changed our souls and never quite relegated in history, despite our efforts. Today we ask a special blessing on our comrades in arms who served in Korea. May they sense a strong embrace for the community that admired their grace over many years of silence. They may have felt forgotten, but you have remained faithful to each one throughout the years. Enable us today to be equally faithful to this group as we attempt to honor them. Bless each warrior and their family members. May this day be one of great celebration as we embrace those who are called to the high and honorable calling to be a warrior. Grant that the leadership of this community knows strength through blessing of veterans. And may all that we do bring glory to the name of our God. Amen. 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 Our guest speaker today is Brigadier General Tamara Hutchins Frost. Some of her biography is in your program, but to highlight her career, she moved to Arkansas at the age of two. Attending Arkansas Tech, she enlisted in the Air Force and received her commission as a second lieutenant, and her career is quite notable, holding two positions in both Arkansas Flying Units, the 188th Fighter Wing Smith, and the 189th Air Vessel in the Cross Air Force Base. She deployed to Afghanistan as the Chief of Staff of the Traditional Forces and returned to the sun the first female to achieve the rank of Brigadier General in State Air National Guard history. She is presently the Director of the Joint Staff, Arkansas National Guard. Would you please welcome Brigadier General Hutchins Strauss. Thank you. It's so good to be here. Ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests, veterans and our military family, thank you for inviting me to be here with you as we pay tribute to our veterans with a special tribute to our Korean veterans and to reflect on all that they made possible in America. Veterans Day is a day of tribute and of reflection, but also, and perhaps most importantly, Veterans Day is a triumph of all those who served. What's your name? Frank Brooks Jr. Glad to know you, sir. I'm just 76. You're a little old. Over 500. How old are you? How old are you? Reside in Washington County. Ninety. Ninety-two. 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 
When I deployed to Kabul, Afghanistan in 2013 with NATO forces, I was only one of four female colonels and one other female who was a Brigadier General at Headquarters ISAF. We were all American females. American forces are very diverse compared to our NATO comrades. I was assigned to the NATO Afghanistan Transformation Task Force. Our mandate was to develop the specified tasks for operations, resolute support, beginning in January 2015, and to add to aid the country of Afghanistan into becoming a sovereign country. Our task force was comprised of mostly men, representing 14 countries. Being raised in a small rural Arkansas town, Lavaca, where strong Christian values, integrity, hard work, and doing it right the first time with our belief pays huge dividends as I work to build relationships and partnerships across the entire task force and the global cluster, including the U.S. Embassy. All while breaking down cultural and gender barriers and building a strong How are you? to accomplish our mission. What years were you in service? Uh, about the end of World War II. Just about the whole, maybe three, four months at the end. Really? Yeah. I was just a five-year-old then. Oh, no. Uh, that was a break-in place. Go ahead and tell me a little more. He was in the Philippines. He was in equipment. Oh, every 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 skill you had was important. What, what's your name? Elmer Rogers. Elmer Rogers. You live here in town? No, I'm in Paris. Paris. Good ride up here. Oh, we stayed at Brookhaven in Fayetteville right now. Oh. Brookstone. Well. Right now. Nice to meet you, sir. Misplaced. <laughs> Thank you. Aubrey Shepard. Oh, this is this is from the uh, Veterans 5K run yesterday. It raises money for the National Cemetery here in Texas. So it's, we have to raise money to buy more land to enlarge the cemetery. Yeah. It's the government we able to provide to enlarge the cemetery. Very few places. What Smith may have gotten some money a few years ago, I'm not sure, but this one hadn't had anything in a long time. So it's 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 like triple the size it was in 1988, 1980 when this organization started. So to, uh, where would this on my shoulder? R-N-C-I-C. What do you be?